guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Um, was it this one, as you can see from the title, is talking about yesterday's game against Manly. Um, everyone knows the rivalry um, between Sharks and Manly goes back decades. Um, like always, games for the Steve Rogers Cup. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Like, we always seem to, for some reason, struggle against Manly. Um, I think, what was it? I saw a stat earlier where in the last 12 games, we've only got one win. Um, like, I think the only real outlier in terms of results between us and Manly would really be, I think it was 2005 when we got one of our biggest wins ever down at Shark Park. But definitely not going to see a result like that today. Like, I'd love to. It'd be crazy. And, like, it'd be awesome. But, um, yeah, it's... Don't don't want to sound pessimistic and all that, and all that being the sharks in, but honestly, I don't like everyone's like you see that merely have some players out, but yet again, it was like that in the semi final last year, and we all know how that turned out. Um, so it's I don't want to be pessimistic, but I'm honestly expecting to lose. We're not as good as we have been in previous years. Um, don't get me wrong, I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to see us go out there and get a win. But I just can't see it happening. Um, hopefully we can pull off something. I don't, don't know if you'd call it an upset, but um, I don't know. It It'll be interesting to see how the game plays out, um, what sort of Sharks team shows up. But there were points last week against the Bulldogs where we looked as good as we have done in the last couple of years. But the thing is, can we bring that? And if we do, can we bring that for the full 80 minutes? Because that's going to be the real test to see if we are starting to turn a corner this season but I don't know. It'll be a very interesting game. Um, Manly will be out to show that having those couple of injuries won't hurt them. Um, it's something that definitely you got that sort of mentality and effort, extra effort with players out really got brought back last year when they brought back Des Hasler. But it'll be interesting to see... I don't know. It's very intrig It's a very intriguing game. Um, f fingers crossed, we can get the two points. But I don't know. I'll uh, come back to you at full time in a couple of hours from now for me. A couple of moments for you, and uh, try and dissect a bit of the game. And hopefully, talking about picking up two more points and trying to continue our rise up the ladder and be there or thereabouts again at the end of the season. Well, um, I was wrong, thankfully. Um, Definitely didn't see that coming. Um, as, as I said, I thought I was going in expecting a loss. Um, but, and even if we were going to win, I thought, it, it, in my wildest dreams, I thought we're probably only going to win by maybe try, maybe six points, like eight points max. But to win like that, Admittedly, the defence sort of fell off a bit at the back end of the game, but 
Like, that's what I said before the game. Like, if we show up the way that we, that, 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 that you know the team can, like they did there, and hold that for extended periods, you can see what we can do. Um, but again, like, that's the thing, like, how, how consistent are we going to be with that form? Like, hopefully, we can keep it going strong. Um, like, we look solid. It's definitely, we look a lot different. Um, in our wins, we've definitely looked different. I think it's more, if we have um, Moylan and Johnson running the game, running the team around the park, and have Chad just given that little bit of direction, I think that works wonders. Like, we've seen it with our wins. I think that's that's what really helped, has helped us these last couple of games we've had. But um, hopefully we can keep this going. Um, short, shortened season. It's not short by March, but it's shortened. But um, be interesting to see how this form carries on. Um, and honestly, I don't know if we keep, if we play to that potential again every week and we can hold that form consistently throughout the games, like there's, there's no reason we can't be in the top eight, but I don't know. Yeah, again, me and we did have the players out, but as I said before the game, as we saw last year in the semi, semi final, they had players out. And they they dominated us in that game. Um, I don't know what what happened tonight compared to then, um, but who knows? I'm, all that matters is we've got the two points, we've got the win. Um, Don't to move on to the next 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 game next week. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure who we're playing, um, but I think it might be the Gold Coast. I'm not sure, but. It'll be interesting to see how that game goes. Even Gold Coast have picked up a couple of wins now. Beat the Broncos last night. Admittedly, Broncos aren't doing anything this year. But that'll be the end of the video. Like the video if you enjoyed what you've seen. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of that game. What Were you surprised with that result? Um... And if you, even if you did think Cronulla were going to win, were you, that's the thing, like, were you surprised at how they won? Um, as you saw at the start of the video, I didn't think we'd win, but let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, turn the bell, and get notified whenever I upload a video. But as I always say, most importantly, keep living a great life. Peace.